What is up boys and girls? Welcome back. It's Abba like always with some more Evolve for you guys. Today, we're dipping oh, our toes into a new um, hunter. This hunter was, is like, Bucket. He up. is the second support class of Evolve. Oh, and he has... He's really unique compared to Hank. Um, I've said this before. I, at least I feel like I've said this before. But Hank is a more balanced support. You know, his orbital strike, his laser cutter could do big damage to the monster. But he also has his cloak, which is given to every support uh, for defensive purposes, for sneaking, for getting away, oh, well, for saving support. your medic. And he also has that shield support? generator, which you could uh. give any player... On your team a kind of like a temporary shield to help them uh, mitigate the damage and that helps them become a really balanced offensive and defensive uh, character however bucket is more like if i was to give bucket a class it really wouldn't be a support class bucket is almost like a second assault which i think is really really awesome um the only, the only skill that does not fall under this class category is this UAV that we're playing, or that we're using right now. Um, as you can see, okay, well, <laughs> as you saw there, he could actually take off his head and make it turn into almost like a, uh, you know, a air vehicle where you could use it to track the monster down, which is really, really cool. And it's, uh, it has like this camera spectacle um, where... If you have the monster in your sight, like in your camera, right in the center, for I think it's about maybe yeah. five, six seconds, uh, it'll track the monster for you. Like your whole team will know where the monster is for the next maybe half a minute to a minute. It's a really good uh, technique. It's a really good skill for actually helping your trapper out. And um, and yeah, so it's that's the only thing that falls under that. But other than that, you have your cloak, which like I said... Um, is given to every support class. Uh, he has a guided missile uh, launcher. So you see the red dot right in the center. So basically what happens is I shoot a rocket and whatever I'm pointing my red to, the rocket will kind of glide, curve that way. So I can shoot my rocket to the right, aim my 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 dot to the left, and have a missile kind of curve into the monster, Ooh, which is wildlife. really, really cool in my opinion. And lastly, and this is probably his biggest... <laughs> Uh, damage dealer right here is going to be his uh, beat technique, which you see down there, which is his turret technique. Um, he's allowed to lay down five turrets that auto fire on the monster if it's in a pretty, it's not too close, it's close enough, like in the medium vicinity, I believe. Uh, and seriously, that does so much damage. Anyways, that's my little, my little summary of bucket. Right now, though, we are fighting the Kraken, and uh, I'm sorry if you guys hear, you know, people talking in the background, if you hear, you know, keyboard clicking. Um, I was, you know, like I said, I, I am talking to my team, um, and I did not want to record my end because it's not very entertaining commentary. It's not like, oh yeah, guys, we're going to go fuck this monster up and, you know, we're going to teabag him or yeah, something. It's like, not like so. that at all. It's more like, oh, the monster's over there. Let's try cornering him. Uh, he's heading to your right, oh, to your left. Right he's heading south. Put down this, you know, trap the monster now. Make sure to heal me. It's, it's really simple stuff. So, uh, it's not really entertaining and, um, yep. And that's why I'm doing post commentary, and you know I did not mute them because I do want to hear what my team is saying, so we have the best possibility of actually um, of being this monster. Now the Kraken is being smart here. He's trapped at a, at a level one, and he's going after the trapper. So if the trapper goes down, as we all know, the the dome goes down, allowing the monster to escape. He's doing a really good job. He's focused on Daisy. I'm trying to draw his attention here. I pop the the cloak. To kind of uh, hide everyone so we could kind of regroup. Uh, maybe the medic could get to healing or whatever. I'm trying to lay down these turrets. These turrets do so much damage. Especially if you're able to uh, more or less put them, put them all within the vicinity where they could hit the, the monster. Oh my god. I, I seriously do like 9,000 and up you know, per round with these freaking turrets. They're they're so immensely powerful. And I'm putting oh, them down. I'm like, you know, I'm, I, I think I'm pretty sure I'm telling them, lead the monster over here. The monster's screwed if he comes over here. You can see that my turrets are just doing damage. Like, they're doing constant damage. The monster's down to half 
his HP by now. And the Kodome's down, so if I was the monster, I would be running. I'd be like, you know what? I need to get out of here. Daisy's down though. He's no, going Daisy's after our down. trapper, but uh it's not me. a good idea, man. You're gonna get you're gonna get killed if you're not careful. But I think he realizes that and he's uh trying to escape, but uh we're gonna he's keep gonna make it away. like have, really I close on his tail. Um, Val was oh able to get a really good tranquilizer on him, which highlighted him for a little bit. Uh, I still don't think the tranquilizer is that good. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of it. I don't think it's really worthwhile. I think the the oh, the there. one monster that is really affected by the trank is maybe the wraith. I think the wraith cannot teleport or dash or whatever like during that uh, during that section. So uh, it's really interesting. Right here, I'm showing off the UAV. I'm actually not very good at it, so don't expect anything like super oh, impressive. Like, oh, he found the monster. He, I, I, I don't think I've even been able to uh, track the monster using uh, this. And it's not the ability's fault at all. It's, it's totally my fault. Um, I'm kind of right bad at uh, keeping it centered. It's a little bit tricky. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, it takes a little bit to get used to. But I feel like uh, our team has sights on the monster, and that's why I came out of it. Maybe it was just like, oh. I don't think uh, I'm actually, you know, doing uh, doing this right, and I'm not finding the monster quick enough. And you know, that's the, the one thing, the one consequence that comes with actually using this technique is the fact that you're not moving. Your character, physical body, is not moving while you're in this mode. So you get separated from your team, and if your team is halfway across the map, it's gonna take you a while to get to the fight. If you know they manage this to trap the Kraken, right the monster, whoever you're He's fighting, and, um, and, you know, also, you, you, if the monster finds your body, um, all by itself, just kind of hanging there, what's to stop the monster from pouncing on you and, you know, having a absolute, you know, kill right there. So, it's a little bit tricky, you kind of want to, uh, do it where you're more or less hidden, Direct kidding. but, uh, you can see there, we already domed them, so I'm showing off the camera, that little yellow circle, that was going around, uh, that's the gates I need to fill out so you could actually crack or you could actually trap the monster or have them in your sights. Now I'm putting down turrets, it's gonna kill which are doing so much work. Our medic is go actually down. going down pretty damn fast. Oh, he lays down that freaking lightning strike. He takes down our medic, oh, down. which is really, oh, really he's obnoxious. Scared. He's actually going ham on her. He's like, nope, you're not getting back up. And you know what? Unfortunately, I can't do anything about it. Um, I'm just focusing. Oh, it's the trapper that died. Okay, it wasn't our medic. It was our trapper. I s skillfully. Now, um, the lightning strike. One piece of advice I can give to lightning strike is just the fact that. Uh, is just the fact that. When you see the lightning strike kind of aim at you, because you can't see where the lightning strike is about to aim, you need to dash at that point and. Uh, at that point, you know, you need to dash to the sides, and you could really easily evade it if you time it really well. I think I was able to do it pretty much pretty, uh, or pretty constantly as the, as, you know, any character I was playing. But right here, you see that our medic is down, our trapper is down, but the, the thing is that our, our monster He's only so has a, bo a bar, and you know, like I said, uh, Bucket is almost like three. another assault, so he's a heavy damage dealing uh, hunter here. And we have an assault lift, so I'm like, if we find this monster before he regenerates his, his armor, we could really just go to work and uh, end the round right there. And you know what? That's what I'm doing. Um, I think our teammates, if you could kind of hear the, the, the talking in the background, they're like, oh, just stay alive, just stay alive, there's only 45 seconds, you know, the medic and the trapper will be back, just wait it out. And I'm like, nope, I see the Kraken, I'm going for it. Um, he has a lot of armor now, he has maybe like four or so bars. I cloak, he's walking right past me, he has no idea where I am. I'm gonna start laying down these turrets, these turrets are gonna do so much damage. But uh, I think the monster's like, uh, I'm, I'm getting out of here, man. I'm getting out of here. Um, I can't see him, and he's putting down turrets. It'd be smart to uh, kind of leave. But my, my cloak runs out. I start, you know, shooting him with my rocket. You can see that I'm really just, like, tearing into his armor. And, you know, this is by myself. I get trapped in the corner, which is unfortunate because I wasn't able to dodge. Um, but you see the, the, the monster is already, you know, his armor is already gone. You know, if, if the assault was with me, we would have definitely been able to take this guy out. Unfortunately, the medic, you know, he... he He's, he's staying alive. I'm like, where's our medic? Where is he? We could have easily taken him down, and I just barely missed the dropship. 
which is a little bit unfortunate, but the monster, man, the monster is almost, he's gonna die. you know, he's, he has a sliver of health left. If he could get to stage 3, maybe he could put up a good fight because he will be able to level up he his skills, do more damage, and uh, he might be able to a gain a little bit more health, but more importantly, he might be able to start stacking up his, his armor to, uh, to actually confront us head on. Um, now, our, our assault, our medic, and our trapper are heading out, trying to look for this, uh, this Kraken. Now, the most important thing is for them to find them, or to find the Kraken before his armor regenerates. Um, they're having a little bit of trouble. Actually, the monster did him a favor. He's actually, um, he actually scared some birds there, so the hunters actually know more or less where he's heading, where he's at. And uh, that might be trouble for the for the monster in the long run here, especially if he's you know if he's still trying to build up his armor. Um, you can see that you know they actually did end up finding the monster. Uh, the assault is actually doing some heavy damage to his uh, to his health. The monster was trying to feed on, on on an elite, and this is gonna be the end for the monster. The monster has no chance here. He has no armor, a sliver of health. Any little bit of damage the assault does is basically a KO. And that is a win for the Hunters. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, make sure to smash that like button down below. Helps out a great deal. Comment, subscribe, especially if you want to see more Evolve. I'm, I have a bunch of Evolve footage that is coming to the channel. So stay, stay tuned for that. And like always, boys and girls, thank you so very much for watching. I hope you're having a fantastic day. And I'll see you on the next one. Johnny. Small range. Small range increased by 37%.